Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. There are strong indications that President Bola Metinubu will be a one term president. Unless he rigs the 2027 presidential election. There is no way that President Bola Metinubu will win the 2027 presidential election. Because the unprecedented hardship in the country, I do not see what he will do that will abate it in the next one year or two years. Unless he decides to go back on the removal of waste subsidy and the flotation of the Naira, and he is insisting that no going back. If he doesn't go back in those two policies, I don't see how he will win the presidency of Nigeria in 2027 unless he rigs it because the hardship in the country will continue to persist and under that kind of situation there is no way Nigerians will allow him to be re-elected in 2027. So, let's say for instance, look at the Naira to the dollar. If President Bola Metinubu does not stop the flotation of the Naira, there is no way that Naira can even be able to fall to the level, be able to rise to the level that it was under Muhammad Buhari. When Buhari was president, Naira at the official rate was about 400 Naira or thereabout, while the unofficial rate was about 700, 750. Right now, with this flotation, if it continues from now to 2027, there is no way the Naira can get back to the level it was under Buhari. And with Nigeria being an import dependent country, things will get worse going forward. And that scenario does not provide an enabling environment for Bola Metinubu to be a two term president. No, he will be a one term president. Unless he changed his two policies. Already, you can see anger in the north. Forget about the few northern leaders that will come to the media and say they stand with Tinubu. There is a lot of pains, hunger, starvation in the north. And people are, they are just stomaching it, waiting to speak with their vote. I'm telling you, from what I've observed, there is no way Tinubu is going to get the support of the North in 2027. If he doesn't sort the problem of this flotation of the Naira and the removal of the first subsidy, that is one thing that he must address. If you if you have any for him to have any chance of winning in 2027 in a free and fair election, of course I told you earlier on that unless the election will not be free and fair, uh, you know when the election is not free and fair, I can and the, uh, the electoral officials they can always manipulate anything. This this Nigeria, this Africa. 
But if the election is free and fair, and this hardship continue like this, and the level of the Naira is what it is today, and the price of fuel is what it is today, there's no way Tinubu win in 2027. That's why I'm convinced, without any iota of doubt, that Tinubu will be a one-term president. Already, the movement of some federal government ministries and parastatas to, from Abuja to Lagos has sent a signal to the north that look, those of them that supported Bola Tinubu, perhaps they made a mistake. They are not complaining now, but after all, the election is not close by. But I can tell you that all this federal airport authority and all this movement of departments of some banks to of some central bank departments to to Lagos, the movement of uh, that uh, airport facility from Katsina as to Lagos and wherever. All these things are things that are piling up to show that the North, because to be frank, it was basically the North that gave Bola Tinubu the presidency. But the North right now is not happy. They may not be, be saying anything about it. Because if you talk about the vote, it is the North that gave him vote. Let's be frank about it. Because if you look at it, Bola Tinubu was largely re rejected by the South. There is no Southern, and besides, except the Southwest, where he got votes, which is also being disputed, you know, because of all these uh, allegations of uh, uh, manipulation of election and all that. But you can see that both in the South South and South East. Bola Metinubu was largely rejected. So it was the vote from the northeast and northwest that gave him the, the victory. So to say, quote and unquote, the victory. Because we know that Peter Obi was able to present evidence to show that he was the one that won the election, but the Supreme Court didn't agree with Peter Obi. And uh, the report by the European Union talked about the manipulation of the election and everything. But for whatever may be the case, the Northern governors, to be frank, spent a lot of money to support Bola Metinubu. So, on that basis, you can say the North was instrumental in Tinubu imagining the president. But right now, the North is not happy with Bola Metinubu, both in his management of the economy and in many of, and many of his political appointments, and then in the relocation of federal government institutions to Lagos. All these things are piling up. And I can tell you for free, there is no way Bola Metinubu will be able to win a free and fair election under this condition. So for him to be able to win election in 2027, he had to, first of all, address the issue of flotation of the Naira and the removal of the first subsidy, which he is insisting that he cannot change. If he cannot change all these things, the possibility 
of being a one-term president is staring him on the face. That is my take. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, God will rank it hard and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.